Before I begin, I want to ask all of you, pause the video, go down in the comments section and reply. Do you think that Dragon Ball Super Broly's advertisement campaign with all the trailers, do you think they have gone too far in showing us what is going to happen in the movie? Let me know in the comment section below. Know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. Before I begin, I want to put up this disclaimer that this video is not talking about whether Dragon Ball Super Broly is going to be better or worse than Avengers Endgame or Avengers 4. No. This is not about Marvel vs. Dragon Ball. No. This is about the advertising campaign for Dragon Ball Super versus the advertising campaign of Avengers Endgame. And I'm going to be giving you guys my unfiltered thoughts. There's really not going to be much editing in this video because I am basically going to rant here. But I want to start off with, and I want you guys to discuss this with me. I want you guys to tell me your answer to the first question I proposed and what your thoughts were on the new Avengers Endgame trailer let me know in the comment section below but i want to give you guys my thoughts on the trailer first of all i think it's very ballsy that they didn't really have any explosions any fight scenes in the first official trailer for one of the most hype movies of 2019 that takes balls for them to just push the story forward and knowing that we would be invested in just that second the trailer really didn't show us anything that would spoil anything about the movie. We really don't know and left in the sea of ambiguity. We don't know anything about what's gonna happen besides the fact that, okay, we get Hawkeye back and now he's Ronin, but that's kind of been around the airwaves for a while now. And of course, Hawkeye was definitely gonna come back for this. So that's not really too big of a spoilers, unless you didn't know who Ronin was. And then we get Ant-Man who we as the audience know is not erased they set this up in the movie trailer that at the very beginning they had him as being the one that was erased along with shuri along with peter parker and then he comes at the end because he's not he was in the quantum realm so they set that joke up and it worked perfectly everything else that was revealed doesn't affect the story in the slightest we know that Iron Man is adrift in space because he was left on Thanos' homeworld with Nebula. I don't know if Nebula ditches him or she's also in the ship dying. I don't know. And then we have only Captain America and Black Widow. They're the only ones with any real dialogue throughout the entire trailer. And then we get Avengers Endgame, the logo that everybody assumed that was going to be the title. And they kind of did huge misdirection, leaning on lying, letting us know that no, that's not going to be it. And then it was. So they built this hype around us speculating about the movie but they still didn't show us really anything that's going to spoil the movie now will there be more trailers absolutely how many more i don't think that many i think that we will be getting two more trailers and that is it maybe some maybe one or two tv spots that won't show much of anything very similar to the campaign they had with avengers infinity war and i am completely psyched and stoked for this movie now when it comes to dragon ball super broly i'm going to give you guys my thoughts right here and i don't really care how it sounds but they have messed up the advertising campaign for dragon ball super broly i don't think that they've done the best that they can do i think they've showed about everything that there is to show in the movie now some people may complain about that and say no there's only like maybe 10 minutes worth of stuff that they've showed and people have actually connected all the trailers together and it's about maybe around 10 minutes or whatever of footage from the movie and okay that's fine the movie's about maybe an hour and a half two hours long so we haven't seen every single thing that there is but that doesn't matter we've seen every single major plot point in the movie guys every single one there's not really one besides the very ending and the very beginning that we have not seen yet like we know more than likely the beginning of the movie is going to start out with dragon ball minus then we're gonna go back to earth and frieza will bring broly to earth goku and vegeta will go to the north pole or wherever that frieza lands to confront him broly will fight goku and vegeta and we've probably seen the majority of that fight 
and then at some point Broly either turns on Frieza or something along those lines happen and he fights Frieza they either have a battle on a different planet that looks like a molten rock planet or they're going to destroy the surrounding area around Earth and make it all molten and rock like leaving the very ending of the movie to Gogeta da and having him save the day. Guys, those are the major plot points of Dragon Ball Super Broly. And for those of you guys who are going and being like, okay, they have not showed us a lot of the movie and saying those things, no, they've showed us about everything that we can possibly know about the movie. The only thing they haven't showed us is what happens at the very end. And more than likely, I would assume that Broly doesn't die at the end of the movie. I would assume that Broly kind of changes his ways or whatever. Or maybe he gets control of his berserker form. Or maybe he finds peace with Vegeta and Goku and then goes on his own separate way. Similar to what Frieza's doing. He was doing his own thing at the end of the Tournament of Power. Maybe along those lines. Those are just speculations that I have. But what I'm saying is that we've had at least around 8 or 9 different trailers. I would say. I'm just guessing. I don't know off the top of my head. But I would say with the TV spots and just the even the music video. And we got the little teaser at the very beginning of July. We probably have around maybe eight trailers that we've seen so far of Dragon Ball Super Broly. Showing us different things about the movie. But they've all been major plot points about what's going to happen. We just don't know how they're connected together. But we've basically seen a good portion of the movie. And more than likely you guys will agree with me after watching the movie. Now does that make the movie worse? No absolutely not. The animation looks phenomenal and the story looks very interesting. I like the way that they're developing Broly as more than just a meathead a crazy dude that's going to attack Goku no they're making him more sympathetic I guess in a sense and they're giving him more to do plus he just seems more interesting all around so does the lore behind the Saiyans and Frieza it looks more interesting it's worth watching I'm definitely gonna be watching it opening day here in the States and it's gonna be phenomenal I can't wait I'm gonna be fanboying about it but I'm telling you one of the major things that I've seen here is that we've seen the majority of the movie and I wouldn't be surprised if most people come out of the movie being like I already seen this but it was still dope I still am gonna back the movie 110 percent but it was still was being shown throughout the entire year and we already knew what was gonna happen and they could have taken a page from Avengers Endgame and really just given us two trailers and then that would have been good enough maybe showing us Dragon Ball minus plus some of the fights I don't think that they went the right route showing us even Gogeta like I loved seeing Gogeta I thought he was dope I thought the little teaser they showed was really badass and I love the song Blizzard I love the music video Blizzard I thought that was really cool too but at the same time, I just wish I hadn't seen all those things and now I feel like I'm a little spoiled. Now, is it spoilage if they officially announce these things? If they send them out officially? If Toei puts this out officially? Uh, no. Not in the sense that, like, say, people who are covering the movie or YouTubers are spoiling it and nobody else really wanted to look into this kind of stuff, but they get spoiled by YouTubers or bloggers or whatever. No, it's not spoilage in that sense. It is spoilage in the sense that even the companies are kind of spoiling what happens in the movie to draw butts to the seat. And that's kind of what I'm thinking that the reasoning is behind all these trailers is because this is probably one of the only major animation releases in the world right now in 2019 or 2018 I, I don't think of anything I can't think of anything else animation wise old school animation I'm not talking about Pixar or Disney I'm talking about old school animation this is one of the major releases it's a Dragon Ball film it's an anime and it's being released to everywhere so they need to generate this hype and they need to keep the hype going and they need to make sure the hype reaches past Japan because in Japan everyone's gonna see that shit but out here in the States, a good portion may have seen it, but not many if you didn't or weren't following Dragon Ball at that point. But with all the hype that's generated, I think it's going to become one of these national phenomenons. And I think that the whole world is going to catch on to this and they're going to accomplish what they meant to accomplish, which is drawing butts to the seats. And in that sense, I can understand why they put out so many trailers. But at the same time, I'm hoping that if this becomes a major hit, this movie, everybody's talking about it. Everybody watches it. It just becomes really good. I mean, we had freaking Goku in the Macy's Day Parade, so it's definitely catching fire. Then I'm hoping that the next movie they come out, if they come out with a next movie, they hold back on some of these trailers and maybe release a teaser and two trailers and that's it. And don't spoil everything that happens in the movie with like eight different trailers. 
Either way, guys, there's a reasoning behind everything. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts because I was really, really impressed with the way that Avengers Endgame kind of had their trailer set up where they didn't show everything. And I guess I've been used to just Dragon Ball Super Broly showing us everything. So let me know in the comments below if you agree with me or disagree with me, and then we can debate it out down there. This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys.